Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This is gonna be my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode seven video. One step closer to Secret Warriors. I think they're, they're slowly wrapping up this last plot line. I'm interested to see if it pushes into the second half of the season, but just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. Also, there's some really cool surprises that I learned about last night that I'll talk about at the end of the video. But starting with top five WTF, Fitz and Simmons are the new Glenn and Maggie of Agents of Walking Dead. If you weren't sure about that conversation at the end that they had where she said, I meant every word that I said, it was when he was listening to her recording where she was like, I had this cabin that I dream about where we could go and she kind of trails off. She's basically saying that she's in love with Fitz. If Fitz kind of tries to brush over it, oh, you were delirious, you didn't have any water. And she's like, no, I meant everything I said. Let's just watch the sunrise. So they are turning this ship into a literal thing on the show. I don't, I don't know what that's going to look like. Obviously, they're not going to like beat you over the head or bore a hole in your chest with it or anything like that. But if you are big fans of Fitz and Simmons, then the universe is giving you this gift. And on my number four WTF, Lincoln versus Lash. Not quite as crazy as, as say like Zoom versus Barry on the Flash season two, or even May and Mockingbird kicking the shit out of Hydra agents. But, but I do feel like we're gonna be seeing more of these inhuman fights. The problem is, is that it costs a lot of money to do CG effects on screen. So I think they try to find ways around that. So I, I think they're trying to work the kinks out before the back half of the season, they do more Secret Warriors stuff. Now that they've contained Lash and Lincoln is back with the S.H.I.E.L.D. team, I think we're like one step closer to that Secret Warriors team. Thankfully, they shuttled Joey away before Lash could get him, so he's still alive. So he that's like one more person they could put on the team. All right, now my number three WTF, Andrew flashes back and we see how Lash was created. It seems like it was actually a booby trap. Jaying had a synthetic crystal rigged to go off and release the mist whenever the book was opened. Now, I don't know if this is part of a prophecy or if it was just an accident, but it seems like Andrew was always destined to become Lash. Like it wasn't a special crystal or some special spell or magic or anything like that. He would have always turned into Lash no matter where he took in the Terrigen Mist. The weird thing about it though is that he talks about his instinct taking over and him being the cure, putting all these other people down. Was that always his destiny as Lash to cull the herd? The way he talks about instinct is really important, I think, because Lash mode is kind of like when he hulks out. Like when Banner hulks out, there's the Hulk mind. Like the Hulk has his own consciousness that's part of Banner's mind. So whatever Banner does when he is Hulk, he's really only acting on subconscious thoughts that Banner has. Like if he's annoyed by something, he's going to smash it when he's the Hulk because he won't have the control to not smash it when he's Banner. The way Andrew talked about Lash, it's a little bit different. It's almost like he feels like he has no control when he's Lash, but that might just be the writer's mixing words. It, it might just be like the Hulk. Like Andrew, when he's acting as Andrew, has these thoughts where he's like, we need to get rid of these inhumans. They're causing problems. We need to put them down. So when he's in Lash mode, the Lash part of his brain may maybe just acts out on those thoughts. They were just a little unclear about how much control Andrew had when he was in Lash mode. Like, he sees May, where he's able to consciously depower himself. I think they were going for Avengers Age of Ultron here, you know, where Black Widow brings the Hulk back down into Banner mode, just calming him down. But they did say there's a ticking clock on this Lash mode. Like, eventually, he's either going to be Lash all the time, or he's going to be Andrew all the time. I think we as fans would rather see them free the Beast full time. Just be like, okay, Andrew, you were fun. We want Lash all the time now. But on my number two WTF. Ward has a grand plan for revenge to kill Coulson that he's seemingly getting swept up in with Powers Booth here and Rosalind. So I feel like that end tag with Coulson, like, you know, coming out like right after they had sex was meant to be this really shocking, horrific moment. I really didn't take it that way because I actually, I like them together. They have so much chemistry, but I was surprised that they turned it into a literal thing. Like they actually had sex. Sometimes it's more fun when they don't. And you see them share those long stares where you're like, there's definitely implied sex happening somewhere in this gaze. But the misdirect that they've done in the past with Rosalind, where they're like, oh, we're not supposed to trust her. She's with the government. She wants to take down S.H.I.E.L.D. She wants to kill all these inhumans, or, or at least box them up. I'm wondering if this is just a continuation of that. Like, maybe she doesn't know that Powers Booth is Hydra. I know a lot of people are wondering, because he was in Avengers as part of the World Security Council, if he's playing the same character. I think that he is, but we never had a name for that character. When you look at the IMDB for that, there's no listing for his name in Avengers. So I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has a lot of liberty with what they do with this character. But just to tie it to the Captain America movies again, if you remember during Winter Soldier, when Robert Redford's character was talking to that big security council, that was the same council from the first Avengers film. They just had different actors. So if S.H.I.E.L.D. was destroyed during that movie, I'm wondering if that council has changed or if it still exists. That'll probably get addressed during Captain America Civil War because the government itself becomes a big character in that movie via Martin Freeman. 
Martin Freeman is kind of like the Coulson of the governmental organization in Captain America Civil War. You, you can see how like they would use him for comedy in that situation where it's like, oh my God, I got to deal with all these superheroes. But on to my number one WTF. May actually tried to kill Andrew as Lash. Coulson asks her, how did you know that that wasn't going to kill him? And she's like, I, I didn't know. She was trying to put him down hardcore old yeller style. Lash has rabies. You have to kill him. The real question though, here's my big question for you guys. Do you think that Lash can be rehabilitated and work with this new Secret Warriors team that they're going to be developing on the show? I feel like the answer is no. I feel like long term, Blair Underwood, the actor that plays this guy, will go off the show. Like we won't see Lash anymore. It'll be like a Hulk situation where he just flies off in a Quinjet and we don't see him again. My only real problem with this week's episode is the May Andrew drama. Like they're setting up a lot of big things, but I, I feel like it would have been more interesting, say, if Gemma Simmons had become Lash and they had just teased that out longer. Like they'd done this Fitzsimmons thing where they come together after she's been marooned on this planet. So she tries to get her friend back. But then as someone who used to hate Inhumans, she's turned into one herself. So I, I feel like that would have been a more interesting storyline. But I guess I've just never been a big fan of Andrew's character. And, and the problem with the May romance storyline is that they want to give her this backstory, but I feel like it's too little too late. Like they waited too long to develop this backstory for her. Fitz and Simmons are believable because like from day one, they established that there's something between them that goes a little bit beyond friendship. The problem with May's character though, is that like in this grand narrative, she's kind of been replaced by Rosalind's character because you always have like the person that gets paired with Coulson that used to be May, now it's Rosalind. So it's like, what do you do with May? Like, what's her storyline? Well, why don't we give her this Beauty and the Beast thing? Which is funny because she was actually in a Disney movie as Mulan. I do feel like they've been treading Secret Warriors water all season, but they wanted to do this Lash plot first. So it's like, we know what's coming, but they've been holding off for like eight or nine episodes. So it's like, why don't, why don't you just do the thing that we all want to see? I feel like they should have started with Secret Warriors, like with a bunch of people with powers at the beginning of the season, then have Lash come in and start picking them off. Like, Who's picking off the members of the team here? Oh wow, it's Andrew. That to me would have been a little bit more interesting because it's like when you watch a Marvel show where they say they're doing Secret Warriors and then you get like six episodes with them not doing Secret Warriors, you're just like, I don't understand what's happening. Again, anytime they put the Marvel title on a the show, there's, there's certain expectations that you have. But the really cool surprise is, is that there's going to be special Star Wars footage coming tonight on ABC and then tomorrow on Disney. Now it's going to be like two completely different things. So I will do videos for both. I think it's going to be a new clip tonight. Tomorrow is going to be more of a behind the scenes kind of thing. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. And I am still doing like a Star Wars tickets giveaway that I'll just, I'll tie in with those videos. While you guys wait for all that stuff to post, you can click here for all my Star Wars trailer videos that I've been posting. And you can click here for last night's episode of Arrow. They tease something really big at the end of the episode. I, I don't want to say it here because it's super spoilery, but you should definitely check it out. I think they have something big coming. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.